All right, guys. How you doing? I haven't talked to you guys in a minute. This is Ty, also known as Expats Lifestyle. That's X P A T S Lifestyle. Please like, subscribe uh, to the channel. Uh, I haven't put out any videos in a while. I apologize. Um, I went to America for a few um, for a little while. I had to take care of some business so that I can make this this whole move official. It's official now. I'm here. Sick of swim time, guys. Okay. I had a great conversation with a, with Kerry. Shout out to Kerry. How you doing, brother? He's opening up a uh, restaurant there on the beach. Wish you all the success. Uh, also, another gentleman I had a conversation with that was very interesting, and I decided to do a video about it. Hate I didn't have my computer with me at the time. Um, but we had to rush back. This is the first, or actually the second day, of 5 o'clock curfew. That's a whole nother video, but that's something different. At any rate, uh, we, t we had some conversations about becoming an expat, a conversation with an expat. So that's the name of this video. Conversation with a potential expat. Uh, a guy that's looking to move here. He's been here a couple of times, and um, I tried to give him a little information, all the, uh, everything that I could help him with in the time that I sat down with him. But um, housing. Let's talk about that, guys. Um, obviously, you need a place to live. So, gated, you know, buying versus renting. That's the kind of the first thing that we talked about. Buying versus renting and gated community versus a regular community. Let's talk about that, guys. Um, and, I, I, and I'll take the gated versus well, I'll, I'll take the uh, buying versus renting first. Let's talk about that. Now, everybody's situation is different. Some people have retirements that they, that they use, uh, some form of retirement. And if you have a certain amount of money coming in every month, I think renting is a very good option. I wasn't in that situation. I was in a situation where I thought that uh, I ran into a situation where uh, buying made more sense I thought uh, especially for what I ended up uh, finding a property for so I bought but holding on to your cash is never a bad thing you could probably rent depending on where you want to be and I gotta say that um, you could rent um, a, and I'll give you some examples. I'll give you an example. Uh, I'll give you some examples of that. Renting is just as good. If you want to buy, um, let's, let's just break it all the way down. Gated versus regular. If you want to go to a gated community and buy, you could very, very, very um, easily be looking at, you know, uh, hundred to two hundred thousand dollars plus three hundred dollars every month just in um, if you spend over 141,000 then you're also going to have your taxes as well as your um, you're going to have your taxes as well as your association dues in those gated communities for villas if you are renting an apartment um, then obviously that goes down. That's really more of a conversation of furnished versus unfurnished. But let's talk about buying right now. We're still on the buying. Honestly, if you're, if you're in your American, this is what I call it, if you're in your American mode and you haven't come out and you haven't traveled a lot and you have to have things a certain way and you think, oh, wow, man, $1,200 a month for this or whatever the case is. This is in a gated community, fully furnished. Oh, twelve, fifteen hundred dollars $1,500 a month for this. Oh, man, this is great. Eh, it's kind of a lot. You're overpaying. You don't have to do that. If you're willing to furnish your own place and be out of a gated community, which is not necessary. Let me just say that. It is totally not necessary. You can get, for way less than $300 a month, you can get all your gardening done and have your own security sit right out there and make a contract or have an agreement 
with a security company for way less money monthly. But if you're willing to do your own, then you could get a nice villa, very, very nice villa, very nice place. But you're going to have to do a little work. When I say a little work, if it's not furnished, you're going to have to furnish it. You're going to have to buy your own furniture. And if you got a two or three or however many bedroom, that means you got two or three or however many bedrooms that you have to furnish. Also, you have to buy your own appliances. That costs whatever it costs, guys. You can get used appliances around here, but you, you might want to go to Santiago to have a much better selection of used appliances. But I didn't get used, but it's certainly an option. Um, you can... And when I say furnished, you're going to have to do some other things. You might have to paint. You know, this is not, this is not the U.S. where everything is going to come, come perfect. But you might have to paint. And you might also have to um, do something slight. You know, maybe, maybe some plumbing. And when I say some plumbing, it sounds extremely expensive. But labor is very cheap. Things are cheap here. So that sort of thing is cheap here. So, you know, let's say you put what you would put into a deposit and you decide that you're going to rent the place. If you're willing to do that, you could probably go from, you know, spending $1,500 a month to spending $700 a month. Half. That's a lot. And I'm talking about a really nice place. I'm not talking about no BS. I'm talking about a nice place. Now, if you want to get even cheaper than that, let's talk about it. Some people don't want to drop money or set any roots here. Some people, um, you know, they want everything ready to go. Um, but let's talk about location. Sasua versus other areas that are close. Sasua, Cabarete. Um, Puerto Plata, these are all within 20, 30 minutes of each other. Puerto Plata is much cheaper, guys. Much cheaper. I'll give you a good example of what I mean. I ran into a gentleman uh, in, the, in, in, the, in the grocery store. Well, they, they're, their version of Walmart, the Super Jumbo. And we talked about it. He has a three-bedroom, three-bath apartment. Nice, very nice. New building, new construction. Very, 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 very nice. And he told me that he was paying. Uh, now this is unfurnished, but new building, new construction. Um, he's paying six hundred dollars a month, and you can get cheaper than that. Now that's in that. <laughs> let me say this again. That is in Puerto Plata. If you try to get and I haven't even seen any three bedrooms uh, apartments. I've seen two. But two bedroom apartment, two bedroom, two bath, six furnished here in Sasua is probably six to eight fifty, six to nine hundred dollars a month easily. That's apartment. Uh, and if you go unfurnished, you're probably still you know, for something nice, you know, five something, it's two bedroom now, five to seven, give or take, five to eight, even unfurnished is what I've seen around here. So it just depends on what you want to do. Now, I don't need three bedrooms, three baths. Some people are like, oh, I got three bedrooms, three baths. Okay, that's fine. I need, mean, you know, two would be nice. One is fine with me. Two would be nice, and that's really for me to make one of them into an office. Um, but that's really what you're looking at, guys. So if I could give any advice at all, the advice that I would give, realize you're not in America. And then most, 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 especially Dominican people or Haitian people, I can help you, I got you, I'm going to look out for you, I'm your boy, they ain't not your boy. 
If they find you an apartment, I guarantee you $100 a month is in their pocket. That's probably what happened to the guy that's paying $600 a month. He don't have to pay that. He probably had somebody say, hey, probably $100 of that, a month of that is going in somebody's pocket. So whoever helped him, whoever his boy was that had hooked him up, put him on, is probably getting $100 a month out of that deal. But that's neither here nor there. The point I'm trying to make is this, guys. If you're going to do any of this, renting is just fine. For me, I thought buying was a better option. But if I had a pension or some monthly, I'd have held on to my money and did a, uh, a rent. And I would have rented, nine times out of ten, I would have rented an unfurnished place and spent the money fixing it up and, and furniture and everything. Um, but, guys... Renting is just fine. Two, um, you don't need a gated community. You just don't. I'm sorry. You don't have to be in a gated community. You don't. Um, if you can save seven, eight, nine hundred dollars a month and be in a nice place, and if you feel like you need security, just make a contract with somebody. You pay those guys ten bucks a day or something like that. If that's what you really feel like you got to do, then do that. But you're gonna save a lot more money doing it that way um, gardening things like that cheap labor's cheap um, location that's a big deal right now I'm in Sasula but I'll be honest with you I don't necessarily see myself staying in Sasula for the duration of the time that I live here I see myself starting here in Sasula and establishing a few things and then branching out um, maybe to Porta Plata or wherever. But uh, right now I'm in Sasua. But Porta Plata is much cheaper. It's about 30 minutes away, mm -hmm. give or take. So close enough here if you have friends coming in, they want to go to the beach. And Sasua got beautiful beaches and mangoes and everything else you want. So, you know, come. I hope this information was helpful, guys. This is uh, one video that I'm putting out. I, I might put something out on this on this uh, curfew and kind of how it's affecting us. But, uh, guys, as always, if you like the information, please like, subscribe. I'm looking forward to, to any and all comments. And to everybody that see me on the street, buy me a drink, had a conversation with me, hey, I thank y'all. I really do. Y'all have a good one. As always... Live life on your terms.